Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Acting President. I rise on behalf of the, uh, the opposition to uh, support the motion uh, moved by uh, Ms. Ratnam. Uh, oh, sorry, Dr. Ratnam. We can't get our uh, honorifics confused. Uh, people get upset about that sort of thing. Uh, we, um, we need to uh, address this issue as a matter of some importance. In fact, um, my concern about this motion is that um, it does not express the sort of urgency uh, that we need. And for that reason, uh, at the beginning of my contribution, I um, am proposing to amend uh, the, uh, the, the motion of uh, Dr. Ratnam, um, uh, and that amendment is after the words inquire into and consider and insert provide an urgent interim report as the committee deems necessary on the current circumstances in municipal and industrial recycling and waste management and uh, provide um, a final report, I'm assuming. Yeah. Yes, please circulate that. That would be a marvellous thing. That's what it says. So, well, no, we'll, we, but we'll work it out. We'll work it out. Don't worry. It's all, all under control. All under control. No, it's all under control. So, no, no, we'll look. We, we have, we have uh, Mr. Mr Jennings' best interest at heart, so he'll be pleased to hear that. Uh, we wouldn't... We wouldn't uh, we wouldn't, want to, we wouldn't want to do anything which would, uh, would cause him uh, any, any uh, grief or, um, or concern or... Uh, uh, well, indeed, yes. Well, well Mr. Mr Jennings, of course, as a, as a Victorian report has it. Um, thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Um, Mr Acting President, uh, it, does, uh, it does seem to me that um, uh, if uh, Daniel Andrews, the Premier, was serious about this recycling crisis, that Victoria uh, faces at this current time, um, he, he'd sack the minister. He'd sack Minister D'Ambrosio and he'd appoint somebody who actually knew what they were doing. Uh, because clearly, uh, the way things are going at the moment, um, we, we do have a, um, a major crisis on our hands. We have a minister who has not the first idea what to do about it. Uh, she has not uh, any ideas. Uh, she uh, is seen on television or heard on radio from time to time um, in, in uh, a, a dithering manner, in a dithering manner, uh, trying to explain what, uh, what uh, she believes is the situation, uh, but nobody's any the wiser um, as a result of that. So I think it would be a very, very good thing um, if um, uh, committee, uh, the uh, Environment and Planning Committee uh, was to, um, to report on this um, on this matter uh, and to provide some solutions because quite frankly we know, uh, we know the problems uh, and the problems are getting worse uh, by the day. Uh, I, I mean I, I put out my, um, my recycling bin every, every fortnight and uh, there is, I know, I know there is a fair, uh, fair chance that that's all going into the landfill. Uh, and uh, it's, it's a real concern to me, particularly given that there are some people who would like to turn the western suburbs of Melbourne into a dirty great tip. Uh, and we have seen uh, the, the Raven Hall, um, uh, exp uh, well it is a, um, a, an expedition, uh, it's certainly taken an expedition to, to get around it. Uh, it will be a, um, uh, if, if, the, if the plans for the, uh, the Raven Hall tip expansion um, uh, go ahead as, as, uh, as is suggested, um, it will be a tip that we'll be able to see from the moon. Uh, this thing is, is absolutely huge. And, of course, the smell uh, is, um, is equal, to, um, uh, equal to, that, uh, to that task as well. So we, we, have, to, we have to accept the fact um, that, uh, that recycling um, is urgently needed. Um, more recycling is urgently needed, not less. Uh, we have to find ways of dealing uh, with our recycled waste, and indeed, we have to find ways of dealing with waste full stop, uh, because just dumping it in the ground uh, is not, uh, is not a, a, a proper solution. Uh, I know that uh, as, as some places overseas uh, have um, uh, high uh, temperature um, uh, incinerators, uh, where, where rubbish uh, waste can be, uh, uh, can be incinerated uh, and uh, it, it, it seems, it seems uh, to work well uh, for them. And maybe that's something, maybe that's something that uh, the committee could look at. Uh, you know, there are a number of, there are a number of possibilities and, and I'm sure a number of possibilities that I'm not aware of uh, that need to be examined uh, by, uh, by this committee. 
but it is, uh, uh, it is important that we do come up with a solution. As we know, um, and as, as Dr Ratnam referred to, the sustainability fund uh, is there, somewhere around uh, uh, half a billion dollars, um, controlled by, uh, by the Treasurer. Uh, and as we know, we should never get between uh, this government and a dollar. Uh, uh, but he is, but he is, uh, he is sitting. He is sitting on that uh, vast sum of money, and it's probably probably time that he uh, he used some of it to address uh, the issues. <coughs> excuse me, that we uh, that we are addressing today. So it's important that the committee have the uh, the capacity uh, and the um, uh, the wherewithal to uh, to examine. Uh, the sorts of issues uh, to, which, uh, to which I refer. Um, I speak uh, on a regular basis to people uh, in, uh, in the West, in, in uh, the West of Melbourne, um, in, my, uh, in my electorate, about the, the problems uh, that they face uh, with, um, uh, with, with tips, with um, uh, landfill, uh, and uh, they, they are demanding an answer. They've been demanding an answer for a very long time. Uh, there's only one way, one sure way of getting a big crowd uh, in, in the West at a meeting, and that is to talk, about, to talk about waste dumps, to talk about landfill. And people will come from everywhere because this is a major issue um, in the West. Indeed, it should be a major issue uh, in, um, uh, across Victoria. I know uh, Mr Ondaatje uh, has expressed to me his concern uh, about what's been going on in the north of Melbourne uh, as well, where, uh, where the, these, huge, uh, these huge tips are being built. And, of course, we've had uh, the situation where, um, uh, of recent years, we've had a couple of uh, fairly substantial fires uh, uh, in, those, in those landfills that have, uh, that have caused uh, major problems. So, you know, the, these are issues that, that need to be examined carefully. Uh, and in, in terms of the the recycling, need to be um, examined uh, as a matter of urgency, uh, as a matter of urgency, because, uh, you know, we, we, can't, we can't be, um, we can't be uh, uh, having a lend of ourselves, as it were, saying that, um, you know, we're the cl clean, green recycling state and, uh, and dumping um, the, the recycling in, uh, in the landfill. Uh, that's, uh, that's not going to work um, uh, for anybody. Uh, so I, I, commend the, um, I commend the amendment to, uh, uh, to the House and uh, once amended, uh, I'm hoping, uh, hoping uh, once amended, uh, the House will see fit to, um, to pass this, uh, uh, this particular, uh, particular motion so that we can have a proper and a thorough examination um, of this issue. Uh, it might, it might um, uh, surprise some in this House to see me agreeing with the Greens. But on this occasion, uh, we, we indeed do we indeed do agree. Um, this is this is something that uh, uh, is is very basic. I mean, this is the sort of environmental issue that we should be addressing, not the other airy fairy stuff. But we need to talk about the the real the real uh, everyday practicalities uh, that uh, that we face uh, in dealing with waste, particularly recyclable waste. And uh, I am very very hopeful that um, a proper uh, inquiry uh, by this uh, committee, and one has, to, uh, one has to say, looking at the wording of Dr Ratnam's motion that uh, pretty much covers everything known to uh, humanity, uh, I, I would uh, say that this is um, a, a wide and thorough, a wide and thorough uh, examination, and uh, one that, uh, that I look forward to, uh, to seeing, and I certainly uh, uh, commend uh, my amendment uh, to uh, the House, and once uh, amended, as I say, uh, I strongly commend uh, the, um, the motion uh, to the House. Uh, let us, uh, let us uh, get this inquiry underway, and let us find the sort of solutions that the government has been unable to come up with to this point.